The Constitution Implementation Commission has come to the rescue of political party officials who are either nominated or elected to Parliament, stating that they do not need to relinquish their political party positions. CIC says that nominated and elective MPs can hold office as long as it is not gainful employment. Note that's in relation with uh, officers who are not having holding offices where there is gainful employment. And it goes further to talk to, to exempt rather the president, deputy president and members of parliament. I don't receive a shilling from TNA. And um, in, in, in the past during the election, yes, I received an allowance, but as soon as I got sworn in, I did not receive a single shilling because I, I believe that um, there's no need to. Sakaja has been under pressure from different quarters to relinquish either the chair's position or the parliamentary seat on grounds that he has violated the law by holding both positions. I believe in the rule of law. If the law prohibited uh, me or any other state officer, any other member of parliament from uh, holding office in a political party, I'd be the first to resign. But the law is very clear. Section 12 of the Elections Act does not restrict MPs from holding office as long as it is not employment such as business. CIC Commissioner Florence Limosa says that nominated MPs have not been appointed but elected. The clause in Article 77.2 of the Constitution talks of appointed state officers and not nominated. The move by CIC gives a reprieve to politicians including Senator Anyang Nyong of ODM, Eseli Simu of Ford Kenya, Senator Beatrice Elachi of APK, Hassan Osman of UDF, and TNS Johnson Sakaja, who hold political positions and parliamentary positions. For JSWAT 7, I'm Shem Oluchiri.